welcome back to my channel so sometime last year i decided to do a red lip series and you know it was supposed to be a continuous thing where i do different um, um different lip colors and work looks around them but somehow some some way I, I don't even know how i just forgot about it i i for the life of me i can't remember why i haven't done anyone since then so this is obviously a purple lip and so i'm going to be doing a purple lip um series where i try on different shades of purple most especially shades that could feel a little bit you know daunting for dark skinned women like me but then at the end of the day you know like i always say it's makeup it's not it's you know it's just it's just makeup a lot of things have been said about dark skinned women in terms of a particular color fitting them or not with which we obviously know just a lot of bullshit okay so um, i'm going to be doing four looks working around four different shades of purple i decided to start simple the eyes are really simple save for the glitter liner and you can always switch that to something else so that's that i hope you guys will subscribe to see um, the other makeup looks i'll be doing with purple lips so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye so i'm just going to start with my foundation i already primed my face prior to this and yeah i'm just having a singing session here i always do this anytime i film so i'll be mixing two shades um, i'll be mixing the carob and the all chocolate together Okay, so I'm just going to highlight under my eyes with the Black Opal Stick Foundation in Truly Toppers and I'll be putting that under my eyes, my forehead, um, chin and the bridge of my nose. I'm pulling the highlight color really close to the bridge of my nose. This would aid in your nose looking slimmer and more defined. And I'm just blending the highlight with um, a synthetic kabuki brush. Next, I'm going to set the highlight with my Benai Banana Powder. And I'm using a fluffy um, blending brush to set and whisk away at the same time. This can be very frustrating, very frustrating. <laughs> Next, I'm going to set the whole of my face with my um, regular face powder and I'm just passing that in with the big fluffy powder brush and I'm whisking away at the same time. I'll be contouring my face with the Zaron Face Definer in PZ20. The contour color in this um, palette is really dark, so you have to use a light hand. I went in really heavy on this one. Um, so if you want to use this shade at all, you have to use a really light hand. I'm just trying to um, soften the contour by putting um, a lighter powder on top and blending with a big fluffy brush. These hairs will not let me be great. I already did my brows off camera and I'm just using an eye primer. Next I'll be um, using this pinky purple shade and I'm just putting that into my crease and blending upwards. Next, I'll be going in with this purple color to darken the crease and I'm placing that in with a defined um, blending brush. This will help pack the color into that crease really well and I'm just blending everything together. 
Next, I'm going in with this um, flesh tone um, eyeshadow from the Lorac um, Unzipped Gold Palette. And I'm just passing that onto the eyelid. Next, I'm using this colored liner from Black Up. Um, since I'm going to be doing a glitter liner, I need a base first. Um, I think you, putting it on a base first before applying glitter would make your life really easier. So because this color is too light for the color scheme I'm working with, I'm just going to darken it with um, the same purple eyeshadow that I used earlier in the crease. And I just dipped my um, eyeliner brush into the shadow. Next, I'll be placing this glitter right on the eyeliner I just created. And I'm just doing this with a pointed brush already um, dipped into the Ben Nye Glitter Glue. Next, I'll be putting on my lashes. These are Lena lashes in um, the style Kalier. So I'm just lining my waterline and um, my lower lid with the Eligo Gel Liner in Very Black. So I'm just um, doing my inner highlights with a very sparkly gold eyeshadow. And yeah, that completes the eye look. And um, back to the face, I'm just misting my face with the Scandinavia Setting Spray. This would help in taking off excess cake. And I'm highlighting with the Hega and Esther Flash Pan. And I'm using a really soft shade because I plan on layering this highlighter. I'm just using that at the highest points of my face. Um, cheekbones, chin, top of the lip, and nose, and the forehead. Next, I'll be going in with the Bowen highlighter, and I'm just, mm -hmm, yeah, that glue is, I mean. To let your highlighter sink into the skin without leaving particles, you can set with a setting spray and it would melt right into the skin. But onto the lips, I'm using this um, liquid lipstick also from Bowen. It's called Rival. This lip um, color is kind of palish, though it appears really bright on camera, but it's not that bright. Um, so I decided to skip um, lip liner, just you know, I really don't know why. Yeah, so this completes the look, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Do not forget to check back next week for the second look of the purple um, lip series. Do not forget to subscribe as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.